Hi everybody and welcome to another workout uh, for Senior Fitness with me Chris. Uh, thanks for joining us. I um, hope you've been uh, enjoying the workouts that we've done so far. If you are new to our senior workouts then welcome. I uh, hope you enjoy this one too and uh, yeah let's see how we get on. So it's going to be three cardio elements to it. Okay cardio being heart, lungs, get you a little bit out of breath, get you a bit sweaty. They're going to be timed at 40 seconds with the 20 second break between you will then do what you call an am wrap okay not a ham wrap an am wrap as many rounds as possible okay there will be a list up somewhere here or here or here hopefully on this video and it'll have a list of three exercises and you'll repeat those three exercises over and over and over over a set period of time okay um so yeah so we're going to start with 40 seconds work 20 seconds rest of high knees, mountain climbers and toe taps. So I'll go through those. Well, let me just press the timer on so we know where we're up to. Okay, so high knees being marching, running, jogging on the spot. 40 seconds of it. Okay, as always with these workouts, you go at your pace, not mine. Okay, so do what you can manage. Are we ready? Well, let's do it. Off you go. So what I should have said already is if you've not already warmed up, Press stop, go back to the warm up page. Okay, it's a five minute warm up, gets their muscles going. If you have, excellent, and let's get moving, let's get cranked up. Okay, and yes, for those that can see my feet, I have my slippers on. Okay, it was pointed out on the last video that Chris was wearing his slippers. Why not? I'm inside, I'm doing a workout. Why not wear my slippers? That's it. Okay, five seconds. And we rest there for 20. Good. That's one ticked off. Okay, so you're going to do mountain climbers. So for those that haven't done these before, they can be done on the wall or on the floor. Okay? If you're doing them on the floor, you're in a plank position, you tap the feet in and out. Okay? If you're doing them on the wall, hands on the wall, knees up and down. Okay? Let's do it. So knees up. That's it, there you go. Good work. So you get your knees up as high as possible. That's it, you go as fast as you can manage. Don't worry about me. Okay, it's your pace, your workout. And yep, yeah, I'm holding onto this part of the wall as we've got brand new wallpaper up. I don't want to put too many handprints on there. There we go. 12 seconds. Almost done. Six more. And we rest. Well done. Okay, one more for cardio. So we're going toe taps. So you can either go overhead with your hands and feet tap side to side, or they can go out in front. Okay, it's up to you. If you've got issues with blood pressure or anything like that, it can go dizzy if you put your hands over your head. Don't do that one. You go out in front. Okay, either way, go at your pace again. Push your heart rate up a little bit higher. Once you've done this, we're going to do that am wrap, okay? So that's a set amount of time. And again, we'll work through this list of exercises which are all muscle based. So upper body, lower body, and core. That's it. 20 left. Good work. That's it. Push through. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Okay, that's your first block ticked off. Okay, so catch your breath. Like I said, there should be a list popping up anytime. And it's going to have 10 push ups, 10 squats, and 10 sit ups or overhead reaches. Okay, push ups again, floor or wall, hands in line with your chest, push through. Squats being feet just a bit wider than shoulders. Sit down and stand up. If you need a chair, grab yourself a chair. Okay, you can do it behind or even sitting down onto the chair and standing up. And the last one is sit-ups. Okay, if you can't manage sit-ups, hands on your knees, big reach up and back down again. Okay, 10 of each. All right, I'm going to get the time going. Five minutes. Okay, so five minutes to complete those three as many times as you can. 
okay? Don't try and keep up with me, okay? If you're with anybody else, don't worry about their pace and what they're doing. It's your workout, okay? If you feel ready to go, I'm going to hit go. If you're not, press pause and a little bit longer, okay? Are we ready? Three, two, one. Ten push-ups first. I'm going to the wall. Let's go. Again, if you can manage stuff on the floor, do it on the floor. You'll benefit a lot more if you push yourself, okay? So go to the limit you can do. Don't try and take the easier option for yourself. That's it. Again, those aren't easy, okay? But if they're easier for you, push yourself a little bit more and get onto the floor. Again, don't try and keep up with me now. I'm going what I can manage, not you. standing option for you so you can see so sit up so I reach this is reach so from your knees big reach up until you feel your tummy muscles open up it stops you from tilting too far back and then back down to your knees so big reach up and again that's it big reach and again if you lose count as always the rules are you have to start again don't make up numbers that's it big stretch Me, that's 10 okay so we're back onto those push-ups let's go that's it and always breathe control your breathing and make every rep count again there's no point at all rushing through little ones just because you think you're going to do more and more and more no benefit whatsoever what I'd rather you do is go slower control the movement and make it more fluid more efficient and more beneficial to you, that's it, than just rushing through to think you've done loads. Okay, that's it. That's two minutes gone. If it starts getting too much, you have a break. Okay, absolutely have a break. The time is going to keep ticking. What could be an idea is if you think, oh, I like this type of workout, make a note each time how many you've done. And then next time you do this workout, you try and beat your score next time. That's it. So if I get through this four times, next time I might want to do it four times and, uh, and one more exercise. And just again, just keep pushing your fitness levels then. Good work. There we go. Good. So if you need a little break, you have one. Quick drink of water. It's very easy to forget to drink on AMRAP, so make sure you have a little slurp of water where you can, and as soon as possible get back to the next exercise. You've got two minutes left. Good work. And there we go. For me, that's ten of those, so I'm back onto my squats now. Again, with your squats, get as low as you can. I said before, if you need a chair, Use it for balance. You can squat behind it if you need to. Holding onto the back of the chair. That's fine. Absolutely fine. You can even sit. If you've got a stable enough chair, sit yourself down. Stand it back up. Try not to use your hands to help yourself out with that chair. That's it. Build the leg muscles up a little bit more. You've got a minute and 20 seconds left. So again, just work through as many possible exercises as you can before we get a break. Big breath in, big breath out. One minute left. So again, don't stop yet. You've got one more minute. Get those exercises done, then you can have a break. I'm going back to push ups. Let's go for it. Good. Spot on. Nearly finished now, you've got 40 seconds. And that's your muscle set done of this round. Let's go for it. 30 seconds. That's it. Really good job though. Good start. Heart rate should be up. Those muscles should be nice and warm. Good. Finishing it off now. 
You've got 15 seconds, so we don't rest now, even if it's just two reps of the next exercise. Let's finish it off. Eight seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And you rest. Well done. Okay. Have a break. That's your first round done. So we're going to do two more rounds. Okay. But the AMRAP exercises are going to be different. So the high knees, the mountain climbers, and the toe taps are exactly the same. 40 work, 20 rest. The AMRAP of five minutes will be three new exercises for the same muscle groups as you've just used. Okay. So have as long as you need. A little slurp of water if you need one. Make sure I can find my drink. Whew, good. Hope oh, we're feeling okay so far. Probably already said it and I'll keep repeating myself and I'm sorry if I do, but if you need a longer rest, please have one. Alright? You're not here to break records, okay? You're just gonna here to get a bit fitter, a bit sweatier, okay? Build the muscles up a little bit. Alright, we're not here to uh, kill ourselves off yet. Okay, so we've got 15 seconds and it's go time. So we're going to go back to the top. High knees, march, jog, run, whichever one's good for you. Okay, ready. Five seconds. Let's do it. Knees up. Let's go. So push your heart rate back up. So you've just done some muscle work. You've got the arms, the chest, the shoulders, the legs, the core. That's all worked nicely. Let's get the ticker going a bit faster now. It. Build your fitness up bit by bit. Halfway. Good work. Keep that pace up. Okay, get your knees as high as you can. Just dawdling through it. Push yourself a little bit. Last 10 seconds. Good work. Keep going. There we go. Well done. Check them legs out if you need to. Okay, mountain climbers next. So on the wall space or on the floor, again I'm going to go for the wall space for you, make sure we all know what we're doing. If you're on the floor and can get on the floor, get on the floor now, you've got 8 seconds to get there. Keep them shoulders forward, back straight, ready, go, let's do it, knees up, come on, really push your pace this time, we got warmed up on that last one. Keeping that pace up nice and strong. That's halfway. Keep them knees up. Don't let them drop yet. None of this. None of this. Get them up there. Nice and strong. Nice and high. Stretch that ball back out. You've got 10 seconds. That's it. Good. Three, two, one. Catch your breath. Again, your heart rate should be a little bit higher, which is perfect. That's where it needs to be. That's where we're going to build that fitness up. Okay? You've got 10 seconds. We're going to do those toe taps again. So like I said on the first round, if you're going overhead and it sends you dizzy, we go out in front. Let's go. So this is 40 seconds. Push that heart rate a bit higher. Now we have a minute's break. Longer if you need it. We're going to do wide push-ups this time. So your push-ups before we're in the middle, or almost in the middle of your chest. Okay, this time we're going out wide. Then we're going to go into lunges. All right, they're going to be alternating or static, your choice, and then a standing crunch instead of those sit-ups or reach. Ten seconds left. Good. Six. And relax there. Well done. So again, nice relaxed breathing. Slow the heart rate down a little bit. Okay, so again, hopefully somewhere around here there'll be a list of exercises you're going to do. Okay, I'm kind of guessing it's going to be here. Ten wide push-ups. So your hands go here. So before your hands were here, your hands are going to go out here. Okay, use the wall or the floor. The one after that is lunges. Okay, so for your lunge, you can go static. So use the wall or a chair for balance, drop downwards and up, okay? It's not forwards. What I don't want to see is your knee going over your toes, yeah? Drop down, up. You can go five each side like that or 
down, and then switch legs, down, switch legs. Your choice. And then the last exercise, standing crunch, all the way across your body. Big twist. Again, it's not just to get it done, all the way across. Okay? Ten of each. Are we ready? Three, two, one. We're going wide hand push up. So on the floor or on the wall. Off we go. If you're on the floor, keep your head forward. Okay? Don't bring it back and it's bobbing your head up and down. Keep your head forward. Hands always go in line with your chest all the time. That's it. Good work. Okay, so now we hit those lunges. So I'm going to go alternating. It's up to you. Five each side. Good. Keeping that back straight all the time. Always looking up. Don't look down. Again, that gives you an easy tendency to lean over those knees. And we don't want that. Alright, that will give you knees issues. Which we don't want. That's it. Once you've hit ton of those lunges, standing crunch. Yeah, and if your balance is a bit, bit uh, wobbly, go one side at a time. Five on one side. And then we just switch. And you do five on the other. That's it. All the way across your body. Once you've done it, back to the top. Wide push-ups. So again, hands in line with your chest. They're outside of your chest and shoulders, though. Ten reps. Good work. That's it. At any point, if you need a break, make sure you have one. God, shake them hands out. I'm going back into my lunges. That's it. Back straight again. Head up. Full reps. Don't feel you have to race me or rush. That's it. Good. And again, if you have any issues with your knees, just take your time with these ones. It. it does build that muscle group up into the quads, into the back of the legs, into the glutes. Okay, from your lunges, standing crunch. That's it. Well done. Catch your breath. If you need a drink, have one. If you don't, keep going. I'm have a little slip of water few videos today so I've got to stay hydrated okay arms out in front and let's go good work good breathing as well spot on spot on again transition let's try and make it nice and quick between the exercises you've got two minutes left feeling okay. So if anything at any point feels too much, just take it back a notch, have a little rest, have a little drink. And that's it. Again, every session you'll get that little bit stronger, that little bit fitter. And if you're new to it, new to the videos, new to any of this training, again you'll get used to the movements session by session. You'll understand a bit more what your body can and can't do. Good work, right? We're nearly there. Keep going now. Let's keep going. Good. That's it. Nice. Nice job. Well done. Okay. We're up to your last minute. Okay. So once you've done this last minute, we get a break. We're going to go through one more set of high knees mountain climbers and toe taps. And you've got one more five minute unwrap, okay? So you've got just over eight minutes of exercise to go. I can't count on my fingers. <laughs> I can't count and talk <sighs> at the same time. I don't want to have to repeat the same stuff over and over and over. Good. Again, this is good. Stretches out that lower back a little bit, this one as well. I like this exercise for my lower back. But again, you're working all the tummy muscles all the way down the side of the body as well. Right, 25 seconds we've got, so just see what you've got left. Try and empty the tank on these last few sets.
good work. Final 10 seconds, so whatever exercises you can. Yeah, if it's just one, don't matter, just finish it off. Five, four, three, two, one. And catch your breath. Well done. Okay, let's have a minute. Catch your breath. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go through high knees, mountain climbers, and toe taps once more. All right, so I'm going to get my clock ready. All right, and as I've already said on the last two rounds, if you need a bit longer, just have a bit longer, press pause, okay? That's fine, absolutely fine. Just don't go and have your lunch, go for a walk around the block and then come back and continue, all right? Just, just a minute or two, that'll be fine. Okay, but anyway, high knees, mountain climbs, toe taps, and then we're gonna do close hand push-ups, okay? So another form of push-up, a glute raise or a bridge, which again, I'll show you when we get there, and a Russian twist. All right, those are your last ones. So I'm going to hit the timer. We've got 15 seconds. So this is your last little bit of cardio. So go as fast as you can, okay? Use up the last few calories. And let's get that ticker beating a bit quicker than the last two rounds. Go, knees up. That's it. Good job. You've done very well so far. If we've got to this point, I'm super. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Go enjoy it a little bit. Alright, <laughs> enjoyment's it's a funny word to use in exercise, but 20 seconds. Again, you have to enjoy it just a little bit. 15 more. And again, I've said it on the first round, but try and repeat this workout and try and keep a note of what you've done so far. Try and beat it each time you do it. Gives you a little push, a gauge of your fitness. And stop there for 20. Well done. Right, mountain climbers. So for those that are on the floor, get down there now. For those that are on the wall, okay, make sure you've got the space ready. 10 seconds. Whew, heart rate's up now. Good. Four seconds, are we ready? Let's go. Get the knees up. Come on. If you're on the floor, keep them shoulders forward and get the knees all the way into your chest. Try and keep your knees off the floor. Really push yourself now. That's it. Good work. That's it. Good. You've got 20 seconds. Again, good stretch of the lower back, this one. I know Julie loves this one. This is a favourite. Just stretches out that and glutes into the lower back, especially if you're not moving as much as, we, as we'd like to be at the moment. Gives it a good stretch. There we go. Well done. Okay. Toe taps. Arms up. Arms out front. Side to side with those feet. 10 seconds. This is your last bit of cardio now. Last 40 second effort. Are we ready? Four. Let's go. That's it. So side to side as fast as you can. Arms out front. Or overhead. That's it. Burns them last few calories. I'm sure if John was watching, she'd be saying, and last few calories ready for that chocolate cake. 20 seconds. That's it. 15 more. And some interesting weight options last week with those bottles of wine. Not naming anybody. Graham, Julie, Janice. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Well done. Have a little break. Okay, okay. So these last ones, 10 close hand push-ups. So this time your hands go in the middle of your chest, okay? You bend and you push through. It's the same as you're on the floor, all right? Your hands aren't here, or here, they're here. And if you can't manage a full push-up, drop to your knees and do it there. I'd rather you drop down and do that full movement rather than try and complete them full and it only be little bits. Okay, so close hand push up, glute raise, on the wall, or on the floor, lift. Okay, five each side, you're going to keep your hips still. I don't want to see it, try and kick out as far as you can, that's not the point. The point is, controlled movement, straight leg, feel it into your glutes and your hamstrings. Alternatively, lie yourself on the floor, okay, you're going to do a bridge. 
So that's lift your bum up, down, bum up, down. Okay, either way, 10. If you're on the glute raise, five each side. If you're on the bridge, just 10 total. And then Russian twist on the floor. Stood up, round, center, round, center. The same tempo on the floor or stood up, okay? It's not twisting all the way around and it's certainly not on the floor, okay? This is your last bit of work, so it's all yours. Ready to finish this off, okay? So close hand push ups, 10 reps in three, two, one. Well, let's do it. So hands straight through. Get the back of those arms working now. Not saying anyone has bingo wings, but this is that bingo wing exercise. Gets all the way down the back of those arms. Gets them nice and strong. Okay, so we're staying on the wall if you're doing your glute raises. Five each side, so stay on one side at a time. Shoulders and hips still. That's it. Five one side, five the other. Perfect. Russian twist, controlled movement, hips still. Ten in total, not each side. Good. That's it, and once you've done your Russian twist, you go back to the top. Okay, so it's close and push ups. Hands in the middle, and push. Yeah, the further away you stand on these ones if you're on the wall, the harder it becomes. Well, that's good. That's it. If you're on the floor, like I said before, keep your head forward. Don't let it creep back into the, in line with your hands. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to go bridge just so you know which one's which. Alright, if you're doing glute raises, same as before. If you're doing bridge, lift ten times. Good stuff. That's it. And then if you're doing Russian twist on the floor, lean back. Good stuff. Well done. Okay, if you need a quick drink, again, and the last two rounds, have one. You're halfway through this now, so I've done two rounds. I'd like to get another two in if I can. Okay, but once you've done those Russian twists, get back onto the wall, let's go. Or on the floor, if you do them on the floor. That's it. Nice work. Right, I'm going to stick with those glute rays this time. So again, hip still. Keep breathing. That's spot on. Well done. Russian twist from the glute rays or the bridge, if that's where you're up to. If you're not, keep them reps nice and strong. Good work. That's it. We've nearly finished now. We're almost there. 90 seconds and your workout's done. Don't rush. That's it. Right. Let's go through it now. Again, don't, try not to rest if you can help it now. You've nearly finished your workout. So let's make the most of this last minute and a bit. Keep going. And again, spot on, well done. Alright, push, 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 keep going though, come on. Should be feeling this a little bit now. Every muscle group's worked. We've got plenty of cardio in there as well, so that little bit of sweating going on. Oh, spot on. Right, you've got 30 seconds and we're done. 30 seconds left. So whatever exercises you've got there, let's finish them off. 
And again, if that exercise at the end of the timer ends up just being once, do it. Absolutely do it. Right, you've got 15 seconds. Let's finish this one off. Come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax there. Well done. Superb. Good. Have a drink. Have a rest. Hope you're all feeling okay. Hope you feel like you've benefited. I can't speak. I'm up there. Benefited from that one. All right. Again, we've, if you're new to this one, we've got a few other workouts on there already for you, which we'd love for you to go and have a go. If you have done them before and you've got a little bit of spare time floating around at the moment, go back over the workouts. Okay. Don't keep waiting for the newest one. Keep going over them all the time. They're all varied. They're all different. You're going to work everything from top to bottom. And if you're new to any other exercises, there's Pilates uh, workouts on there, which are absolutely fantastic. Total body exercises, lots of balance, core strengthening, things like that. Um, you don't just have to go on the floor. There's some that are stood up as well. So please have a look at them. Try them all out. Let us know what you think. Um, keep safe. Obviously, if you're watching this in lockdown, it's a funny time, okay, so keep in touch and uh, look after yourselves and hopefully see you all again on the next video. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care.